Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really pleased to talk about clinical level uh, artificial intelligence based solution for primary diagnosis and reporting of prostate biopsies in routine use, which is a prospective reader study. We presented this study at the European Congress of Pathology and we got the best poster award. So we all know that there's an increase in cancer prevalence and there are advances in personal medicine. There's a growing complexity of pathology diagnostic. Um, and of course, we also know that there's a growing demand to implement computer-assisted solutions to improve pathologists' accuracy and efficiency during cancer diagnosis. We all know that we have more and more work and we're less and less people who are really super specialized and so on. So Ibex Medical Analytic developed Galen Prostate, which is an artificial intelligence based diagnostic solution for prostate biopsies. This study and this analysis has been validated in a study at the University of Pittsburgh and demonstrated outstanding accuracy levels. And we also all know that prostate cancer is sometimes very complex and we have a problem of reproducibility. And we all know that there are very many new cases, more than 1 million newly diagnosed um, prostate cancer diagnoses a year. So the objective of the study was to assess the accuracy and efficiency of pathologists performing primary diagnosis of prostate biopsies using gain prostate compared with standard of care using a micro. The Galen prostate first read application is that you have a slide production, then you do scanning of the slide, then you do this Ibex Galen prostate, and then you have the pathology to reviews and reports. The Galen first read is um, very good because you have an integrated artificial intelligence based diagnosis support. Um, and you have, which I think is very interesting, a case prioritization work list and a slide viewer and you have the artificial intelligence results and reports. So this uh, Galen Prostate First Read uh, application pre-classifies the slides into three categories, benign, cancer and borderline, which means undetermined. This uh, application also automatically orders uh, immunosochemistry according to the results and to, of course, lab predefined protocols. So you have a very good automatization of the diagnosis workflow and you increase, of course, your efficiency as well for detecting of cancer. The Gleason heat maps are very helpful. The tissue and the tumor lengths and, of course, also non-cancer findings and the gain prostate first read application is the only one which also allows you to find high-grade pain, inflammation, atrophy and perineural invasion, for example. So the study design uh, was as followed. We had 100 consecutive prostate bi biopsy cases with 785 slides. They all came from the same lab and we had a ground truth, which is a consensus majority report by two subspecialists and a third subspecialist for discrepancy-based on reviewing the H&E slides and the immunostochemistries and two parallel arms with a crossover design, one was the microscope and the other was the Galen prostate. So but there were three pathologists included in the study from the three different sites and then we have the education uh, spe subspecialist who determines the major discrepancies between the study arms. So the primary endpoint was the difference in major discrepancies rates between gain prostate first read and the manual optical microscope versus uh, GT. And the secondary was to performance metrics for cancer detection of Gleason 6 versus 7 or even more of the gain prostate uh, artificial intelligence algorithm, the pathologist using the microscope and the pathology she's using gain prostate first read application during the primary diagnosis. And so we had the slides and then we had the two pathologists and a comparison and then we had 21% with discrepancies which is not very much while well, this is a quite daily life. We had discrepancies between cancer or a sub 
or benign and we had discrepancies in the Gleason and we had discrepancies in the tumor percentage and the Gleason pattern 5. In the end, uh, we had 20 slides with a committee review digital, which was then showed to the ground truth and where we could find uh, common uh, agreement. Two discrepancies, as I told you already, um, are those uh, which impact the clinical management, which means, of course, cancer versus benign, Gleason 6 versus 7, Gleason grade 5, um, Gleason pattern 5, sorry, and the tumor size, where it was more or less than 50%, um, because this is important for all these kind of active surveillance um, protocols. And the minor discrepancies, which were changing of uh, the Gleason groups, uh, Gleason 4, Gleason pattern for the percentage, uh, which is very important also for the management of the patients, and ASAP versus benign or ASAP versus cancer. So, if you go to the primary endpoint, um, you can see that there's the superior performance for pathologists using artificial uh, intelligence. If you go to the Galen Prostate First Read, you have an agreement rate of 95, a little bit more than 95%. And if you go only to the microscope, well, you have a little bit than 92%. So, the pathologists who use this Galen Prostate First Read artificial intelligence application perform better than the pathologist who uses only the microscope with a significantly lower major discrepancy rate. So for the secondary endpoints, which are the sensitivity and specificity, uh, cancer detection and the Gleason uh, 6 versus 7. So we compared once again the Galen prostate algorithm, the pathologist all alone, and the pathologist with the Galen prostate first read. The sensitivity and the specificity are quite different. So if you only use the Galen prostate artificial intelligence algorithm, you have very high sensitivity and specificity. And also when the pathologist uses the Galen first read, on the other hand, the pathologist on a microscope does really less good. If you compare the performance on Gleason, the Galen prostate algorithm, of course, does very well, as well with the sensitivity and the specificity. But uh, we all know that um, it is very complicated to attribute a Gleason and the, the inter-observer differences are sometimes pretty high. So pathologists with a microscope or using the Galen are more or less the same. And cancers which were missed by the pathologists on the microscope uh, um, and detected when using Galen prostate were the, these kind of examples. For example, on the left side, the microscopic pathologist said, well, this is benign. And the, the Galen prostate um, pathologist said, well, now this is Gleason 7. And the ground truth said, now, well, it's 7 plus 3 plus 4, so great group 2 and not 3. Very small foci of Gleason 6. Um, here you can see the pathologist said benign. The GP pathologist said now there's a focus uh, which is 6, and the ground truth in the end said, well, yes, it's true. There's a Gleason 6. It's a very small focus, but you should not oversee it, especially if it's a very young patient and you want to give him a kind of active surveillance protocol. And then there were things like uh, benign versus malignant, where the microscopic pathologist said, well, this uh, is Gleason 6, and the ground truth said, no, this is benign. And recognizing, of course, uh, Gleason pattern 5 is something which is very, very tricky. Here, the microscopic pathologist said this is an 8, 4 plus 4. The GP pathologist said it's a 4 plus 5, and the ground truth in the end said, well, it's a 4 plus 5. You can see pretty well the heat maps, how they really color very well the different um, parts of the tumor. If you go uh, to the diagnostic efficiency of the Galen prostate, really it improves significantly the diagnostic efficiency. If you look between the training, the pilot and the test, so of course at the beginning you lose a little bit of time, but in the end you really 
gain very much time. On the other hand, in red, you see the pathologist with his microscopy is always more or less doing the same at the same level of time. And if you go to the turnaround time, you can see with a microscope, you need about 1.8 days, so nearly two days. With the Galen prostate, you need not even 10 minutes to resolve the case. So the Galen prostate significantly improves the diagnostic efficiency with 27% reduction in diagnostic time, which is enormous, and 37% productivity gain compared to the microscope. So in conclusion, this is uh, the first large st scale study in which pathologists fully perform uh, full primary diagnosis with the support of an integrated artificial intelligence based solution. The gain prostate a strong uh, artificial intelligence supports pathologists in the accurate detection and diagnosis of cancer and multiple additional features such as the Gleason grading, for example, the tumor size, I think this is really a very good tool, perineural invasion, high grade pin inflammation, atrophy, which only Gale can recognize. Pathologists that diagnose prostate biopsies using Galen prostate demonstrate really a significantly lower major discrepancy rate compared to the pathologists that use a microscope. Galen prostate helps pathologists to perform significantly better than pathologists using microscope in both cancer detection and Gleason grading. And the pathologists using Galen prostate artificial intelligence based classification and heat maps detected cancers and other features such as high grade pain and perineural invasion that were missed by pathologists using a microscope. And the previous study, I would like to insist on this one, on the Galen prostate first read application has demonstrated significantly improved diagnosis efficiency in prostate biopsy reporting and turnaround time, which is very important kind of studies are not do done all alone, so I would really like to thank everybody who was involved in this study from the IPEX group, from the Medipad group, um, who, I mean, who everybody knows of course, um, the hospital center, uh, University Hospital of Rennes and the Sorbonne University. Thank you very much.